Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video and today we're bringing you guys the trade day results for the mini trade day number two that we hosted on our channel just about a little bit ago. But anyways, we're going to go right into the trades. It's 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm guessing the troll trades are flowing in already 1,045 trades. Uh, let's back out and back in and see how much it goes up by. It's 8 p.m. so it should be shooting up 1,053 uh 1059 so yeah it's definitely going up now but we got quite a few trades here ryan kessler 23 tyler johnson with 13 rick nash with 22 duchene 29 bobby hull with 16 patrick king with 26 and henrik zetterberg of course 931 so let's back out 1086 so i shot up by 30 now so let's go ahead and choose the winner for the henrik zetterberg and then we'll go ahead and take the trade offers uh for those players that we have up so i think i'll just close my eyes and i'll pick this this dot right here bork there you go enjoy your henrik zetterberg and that is basically it so giveaway is done let's go ahead and check the trade offers for the players all right so we're starting off with ryan kessler i'm gonna try to like bring these uh trade day result videos down to like 15 20 minutes max i'm not gonna talk about the trades too much i'm gonna go through all the trades and then just explain the ones that i do like the most so first of all we did get wayne simmons and 5,000 coins all right uh, November Tyler Bozak, okay, John Scott, uh, Zdeno Chara, wow, some pretty big players, and 12,000 coins, uh, not bad, I guess, Braden Shen, Movember card, that's a pretty nice trade, uh, Seth Jones, not worth too much, Krejci, Alsner, 7.5, okay, that's a pretty good trade as well, Maroon, Kuznetsov, and 100 coins, pretty much quick sell players, uh, Nugent Hopkins, a Movember card, uh, someone told me that he was injured, so don't know if I want to take him, uh, Brendan Saw, Brent Seabrook, and Patrick Sharp with 3.6k. That's definitely not a bad trade at all, so I'll delay that. Uh, Max Domi, Carl Hagelin, 7k. All right, uh, we also got a bronze contract. I didn't go and check out the trades or anything, uh, so I didn't take out the troll trades either. So you're going to see a lot of, I guess, random stuff in here. Uh, Blake Wheeler, TJ Brody, and 69 coins. All right, uh, we got Zaka, the international player of the game, with 1.5k. All right. Volk, 16.5, okay, not a bad trade, I guess. Uh, Stepan, Koivu, Hamilton, and 5K. Whole bunch of players there with 5K, so that's not bad. Uh, two Team of the Weeks, Clutterbuck, Sezikis. Okay, all right. Uh, Gustav Nyquist, that's a pretty nice card to have. I'll delay that. Turris, uh, Mark Stone, Team of the Week, and Zdeno Chara. That's a pretty solid trade, if I uh, say so myself. So, anyways, let's keep going here. Eddie Lack, Ocpozo, and 1,000 coins. Uh, team of the Week, Eddie Lack. Not sure how much he's going for, but I will delay that. Uh, Little, Sod, Turris, and Hansel. Okay. Uh, Dubnik, Russell, uh, team of the week. 86 overall, so we got a couple uh, overall points higher. And we also got Rhett O'Bara. Uh, we got Brock Nelson and 2.3K. All right. And we also got Logan Couture. Okay, so some pretty solid trades there. So I'll go ahead and then I'll make my decision on what trade I want to take. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I think I made my decision here. I'll quickly go through the offers that I'm most interested in before uh, we take, take the offer that I want. Uh, th so the most interesting offers here, I think, uh, let me go here. Braden Shen is definitely one of them. Uh, just an 87 overall November card, and he's still like doing pretty well in the NHL. Uh, seems pretty enticing to me, so I'm going to delay that one. Uh, let's see what else we have that I was interested in. Nugent Hopkins, definitely not a bad November card, but if I were to compare between... Uh, the 87 overall Braden Shen to the Nugent Hopkins. I would rather just take Braden Shen. So uh, that was one of the interesting offers, I guess. Uh, also, this one is pretty good as well. I know Brendan Saad's worth a little bit. Brent Seabrook is worth a little bit as well. And just getting all three of those players is not bad. But if I were to compare, say, November Braden Shen to those three, uh, I don't know if I would take that or compare it to the Nugent Hopkins. I think it, this offer is better than Nugent Hopkins, so I will delay that. Uh, let's see what other offers I was interested in. Uh, Falcon 16.5k. I really want to just avoid taking coins. I feel like if you want to get Ryan Kessler yourself, you probably could just sell off Justin Falk and then uh, try buying one yourself, even though you're probably missing a few K coins there, so I can understand why he sent that trade. Uh, Stepan Koivu Hamilton. I um, guess it's not a bad trade, just not amazing values for those players. Clutterbuck, Suzekis, two Islanders, team of the weeks that are, aren't worth too much. Uh, Gustav Nyquist is also worth a little bit. I think he's worth like 22 or 23k, somewhere around that region. I'm not really checking player values at all, but I kind of know how much he's going for. So it's not a bad deal with Gustav Nyquist. And this was one of the other deals that I liked. Kyle Turris, Mark Stone, and Zidane Ochara. Uh, the team of the week, 86 overall Mark Stone, is kind of interesting to me. I feel like 
he could be worth a little bit and i don't have him in my collection so it could be a pretty nice trade tourist zidane ochara uh with the 4k coins it's not bad i guess but um there's also this deal eddie lack uh, Ocpozo. The team of the week, Eddie Lack, is probably going for at least 10k, I'm thinking. Same with Ocpozo. Uh, he's at 87 overall, so I'm expecting he's worth a little bit too. So that is a really good trade offer. So it really is between uh, those two trade offers, all right? Uh, Logan Couture was not bad, but I kind of don't want to do a one-for-one -for, -one for Ryan Kessler for Logan Couture. Uh, it really goes down to Eddie Lack, team of the week, and Ocpozo, and Braden Shen. And I really think just Braden Shen is just the better trade here. I think it'll be easier to sell in the long run and I mean 87 overall he's already gotten a couple team of the week he probably could get more in the future so there you go enjoy Ryan Kessler and I will take Braden Shen November card enjoy okay so let's move on to Tyler Johnson 15 trade offers in him so definitely less than all the other players but that's all good okay so the first deal we got is Hamilton Felino and Barry all right some solid players I will delay uh, sharp dry sidle not worth the most and I could reject those trade offers it just it takes too much time to like go back to the second dot or third dot I'd rather just delay it and then unless it's more than 30 trades then I will go ahead and reject it but I don't have to do that so far with only 15 trades uh, Doomnik, Myers, Sharp and Fowler in the next trade uh, looks like he's giving up a little bit of his team for Tyler Johnson uh, so we'll, we'll delay it we'll definitely consider it uh, Krejci 15,000 and Eisenschmidt uh, and two gold contracts. Definitely don't need the contracts. I get too many of them uh, all the time when I do pack openings. Um, I will delay it. Uh, we also got Ryan O'Reilly and 26,000 coins. Okay, all right. Uh, Marion Hossa, uh, Jaden Schwartz, and Nick Letty. I'm not exactly sure how much Marion Hossa goes for. Don't think it's worth too much. So I will delay it. I don't exactly know yet. Uh, Andre Palat for Tyler Johnson. Uh, definitely not an even trade there. Uh, Brad Marchand, the 86 overall edition with 20,000 coins. All right. Dreisaitl, Peron, and a leg injury. Are those guys injured or something? I, I don't know. Scott Darling, Ryan O'Reilly, and 9K. Okay. Uh, Pominville, Helm, and Forsberg. Not the most expensive of players, so we will delay that. Uh, Mark Giordano. That's a pretty solid defender. I kind of like that, so I will delay it. Uh, Anders Lee, and uh, I think it's Matt Martin. I could be wrong. Uh, but two Islanders players. Don't think they're worth too much, so I'll, I'll still delay it. Uh, Marion Gabrick and 9,000 coins, okay, as well as Scott Hartnell, uh, milestone card and 6,000 coins just about. So, I guess I'll compare some of the offers. I'll be right back with my uh, decision, I guess. Alright, so I think I made my decision here. Probably only took you guys two seconds, but I thought about it for a few minutes there. Uh, but there were a few offers that I did like, so I will go through them. Uh, the first offer here, Dubnik, Meyer, Sharp, and Fowler. That is a pretty pretty solid deal in my opinion. Uh, four solid players for Tyler Johnson. I feel like it's not bad, so I will delay it. Uh, there is also, let's see here. I mean the coins and Ryan O'Reilly. If I was looking for coins, uh, I would probably take it. I just don't know if I want 26000 and Ryan O'Reilly compared to the other deal. Uh, Marion Hosa, Jaden Schwartz, Nick Letty, all right. Uh, there were a couple offers, like uh, Brad Marchand was a pretty good one with the 20,000 coins. I mean, I'm not totally against taking coins, but this is a solid deal, so I will delay that one. Uh, there was also Scott Darling, uh, Ryan O'Reilly, so not a bad bunch of players. Um, Mark Giordano was definitely one of them. I mean, a solid defender for a solid centerman, I guess. Uh, the thing is, I don't think Mark Giordano is going for too much. I could be wrong there. I didn't check any player values, but I mean, just to have Mark Giordano on the team is not bad, so I will delay it. Uh, also, these two Team of the Week's not worth too much. I don't really want to take those guys anyways. I mean, I'm not building a, like, a really... I don't know. I, I don't need those guys for, like, a second line or a third line or even fourth line. My team is already pretty stacked already, so taking those guys, don't exactly need that. Uh, Miriam Gabrick and Milestone Hartnell is definitely not bad as well. I just think that there were a couple better offers than the Milestone Hartnell. So, the offer I'm going to be taking is this deal. Dubnik, Meyer, Sharp, and Fowler. I think they all go for a little bit. And, uh, you know what? Just a bunch of solid players. So, there you go. Enjoy your Tyler Johnson. I'll take those four players. And then we'll move on to the next guy. Okay, so moving on to Rick Nash. 23 trade offers to go through. Uh, so, I will quickly skim through them. And then I will uh, make my decision again. Uh, first the deal we have is Bobby Ryan, Hoodler, Domi, and 2,000 coins. All right, I will delay that. Uh, Sammy Vatanen, Team of the Week card, as well as uh, Milestone Bannock. All right, so some solid players there. I think there is an 88 overall uh, Team of the Week Vatanen right now. So uh, that's going to be a little bit, I don't know. I'm not sure if it lowers its value, but uh, definitely if there's another Team of the Week version of him, uh, his value kind of goes down just a tiny bit. 
Uh, Hoodler, Yager, and 25,000. All right, some solid players there. Uh, Patrick Sharp, 40,000 coins. Okay, uh, Fitzgerald, don't need that guy. Uh, Camilleri, Movember, Nazim the Dream, Kadri. Uh, I will delay that. Henrique, uh, Weidman, and Green. Not worth too much, unfortunately. Uh, Nelson and Sharp in this next deal. Uh, we also got Shane Doan, Logan Couture, uh, Brendan Gallagher, Stanley Cup. All right, that's not a bad deal. Uh, Radom Verbata, Movember card as well. Not sure how much he's going for, so I will delay that. Tyler Johnson, Gustav Nyquist, Kyle Turris. So we just sold a Tyler Johnson. And we know he's kind of worth like 30-35k. So with Gustav, Nyquist, and Turris, that's definitely a good deal in my opinion. With a one coin. How generous. Uh, Joe Thornton, Kevin Shattenkirk, 5.5k. Uh, Big Jumbo Joe. Don't think he's going for too much though. So we'll have to uh, take another look at that. Marion Gabrick and Dougie Hamilton. All right. I think we've seen some better deals. We'll, we'll have to see though. Uh, Bacchus, Ryan. Uh, okay, pretty solid deal. Logan Couture, Niemi Sharp, and Nick Benino. Okay, some uh, pretty solid uh, Dallas guys in there, as well as uh, San Jose, Lone Couture, uh, Blake Wheeler, Drysidle, and Yandel. Okay, we'll delay that. Bobby Ryan, Gabrick, Barry, and Hoodler. Uh, pretty solid deal with Gabrick, I guess, but uh, we will delay. Uh, Gabrick, Howard, Stastny, 25,000 coins. Uh, we also got Giordano, uh, Monaghan, and Duclair as well as Nicholas Cronwell and Movember Martin Jones. So those are all the offers there. I guess we'll uh, come back. I'll tell you what I want to pick. Okay, guys, so I think I found the offer that I did like, so I will go through all the offers that I did consider. But we did get another one, Oli Mata and 27K. I mean, I don't think uh, Movember Mata is going for too much. He hasn't even received one Team of the Week card uh, this year, I don't think. Uh, so we will delay that one. Um... There were a couple deals that I liked. Vatnin and Milestone Vanek. That was definitely not bad. Um, the team of the week, Vatnin. Pretty solid player. Just, I don't exactly need him right now. And Milestone Vanek. Uh, kind of slow skating. I don't think he's worth too much, so I will delay that. Um, there's also a couple offers that I did like. Uh, there were some solid coin deals. Like this one, I guess. Yager, Hoodler together with the 25k. That wasn't too bad. As well as the Patrick Sharp and 40,000. Also a really solid deal if I was just looking for coins. I mean, if I want to, I probably could just sell Rick Nash for more than that. So I don't exactly know if I want to take that, even if that was the best offer. Uh, Fitzgerald, uh, Camilleri, Nazim the Dream. Uh, what other offers did I like here? Uh, Nelson Sharp. Um, I did like this deal. Doan and Couture, two solid 87 players for my 88 overall Rick Nash. So, I mean, it is a solid little trade offer there. But I will delay that. Uh, Brendan Gallagher as well. I kind of like this deal because I don't think... Uh, there's many versions of Brendan Gallagher, the special cards, and uh, I felt I got the Max Pacioretty Stanley Cup edition, and he was going for a lot, and he did sell for me on the marketplace. So I'm thinking Brendan Gallagher is maybe going for a little bit as well. I'm not sure if I want to take it that deal though. Uh, Bradham Verbata, 87 overall player, also very solid card. I just don't know if he's worth Rick Nash's value. So uh, this was one of the best deals I think out of this deal. Uh, there was Tyler Johnson, Gustav Nyquist, Kyle Turris. And it was competing against another one, in my opinion. This deal was not too bad as well, the Joe Thornton and Shinenkirk. But I just think that other deal was jo uh, Johnson, Nyquist, and Tourist. Uh, just a really good deal. Did I say Tourist? I mean, I meant tur uh, Tourist. Gabrick Hamilton, 30k. Also a solid deal with coins. And it was competing against this one, in my opinion. So I'm thinking Bacchus is probably worth, I think, upwards of 30k. Because he is a solid uh, centerman. Same with Bobby Ryan. I mean, he's not a solid centerman, but he is a pretty good right winger. And I'm thinking this deal is pretty close to the other deal with the Turris, uh, with the Gustav Nyquist, and the Tyler Johnson. So those deals were the closest to me. Uh, Lone Couture, Niemi, Sharp, Bonino. Lots of players there, but it's just a four for one. So I would have to sell a lot of those players if I want to. Um, Wheeler, Dreisel, uh, Yandel. Ryan, Gabrick, Barry, Hoodler, like once again, really big trade offers that I'd rather just take a two for one or a three for one rather than uh, just one, rather than like a four for one. I don't know. Gabrick, Howard, Stastny, whole bunch of good Detroit players, I guess. Uh, Giordano, Monaghan, and Duclair, not bad deal as well, as well as Cronwall and Jones. So the best deal, in my opinion, is the Bacchus and the Bobby Ryan. I kind of like that deal the most. Just because I think Bacchus is worth 30. Bobby Ryan's probably worth 20. So this is the deal I'm going to take for Rick Nash. Enjoy your Rick Nash. I'll take those two players.
Okay, so moving on to Matt Duchesne, definitely one of the higher and medium cards that we have up right now. He currently has 33 trades, so I will have to reject a few if I want to see all 30 dots on this page. So, anyways, we will go through the offers first. And first, we got Tuka Rask and Daniel Sedin. Alright, pretty solid deal. Uh, Phil Kessel and Nazim Kadri. Oh, God. The old leaf, uh, Kessel Kadri. Alright, I will delay that. Nash Bufflin, 5,000 coins. Okay. Uh, there's also Mike Camilleri, Movember card. Got, got this card a few times already, so not exactly sure if I want to take that deal. Uh, Taylor Hall, Patrick Sharp, and 1,000 coins. All right. Roman Yossi, Petrangelo. Solid defender defender pairing right there. I will definitely consider that as well. Uh, we also got Duclair and 16,000, the November version of Duclair. Also for the Toronto change team, so... I don't know, enticing me, but uh, we will have to see. Uh, Joe Pavelski, 41k. All right, solid amount of coins in that deal. Same with this one, 43 Burns and Bufflin. Oh man, I might not be able to reject all of these because uh, they're all like pretty solid deals so far. Another Mike Camilleri. I mean, he does have 92 skating. Just not sure how big of a name he is compared to Matt Duchesne. So we will delay that. Uh, Luke Robitaille and Henrik Sedin. All right. Uh, Doan and Duclair. Okay, we will delay that. Uh, Nikolai Ehlers, as well as 12.7k, I will delay that. And the reason why I'm skipping through these offers really quick is just, if I went through every single offer, I just felt like it would just be way too long of a trade day, like, result video. I kind of want to keep it, like, 20, 25 minutes so you guys aren't watching too long. But anyways, you guys can let me know how you like this type of style of trade day. Uh, Victor Hedman, Gustav Nyquist, Gabrick, and Dubnik in this next trade. Alright, so, pretty solid deal with Victor Hedman in there. Gustav Nike was pretty solid player as well. Delay that. Uh, Jeff Carter, as well as 10,000 coins. All right. Solid 89 overall player. Uh, Anders Lee. Okay, we can reject that. I have to go back to the dot. All right, back at Carter. Uh, we also got Pavelski, Burns, and Thornton. So a whole bunch of San Jose guys. Definitely will have to consider that one. Bukestad, Turris. All right. Uh, I'm going to reject this deal. I know he gave me pretty close to Duchesne's value of 100k. But like I said, I don't want to just take up straight straight up coins, or I feel like it just ruins the trade day a little bit. Uh, so I will be rejecting that. So uh, we do only have to reject one more so we can see all the deals here. Okay, going on here, Couture and Victor Hedman, some solid players. Uh, Luke Robitaille, I can reject that, I feel like. There was already a deal with Luke Robitaille and another player. So we would rather take that deal than compare to this one. I mean, they're offering the same player there. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be taking that anyways. Um, going on here... To Lucic, Hamannik, and 8.8k. A couple of Team of the Weeks. We also got a gold contract, even though I think we should be good now. Okay, so moving on from Lucic and Hamannik. Uh, Brad Marchand, Gabriel Landeskog, Logan Couture, and uh, Marion Gabrick. I'm not sure if I really like this deal. I know there's a whole bunch of Brad Marchands, though. Like, everybody and their mothers pulled Brad Marchand. So, we'll have to see if I want to take that deal. Uh, Phil Kessel, Ryan Kessler, and McKinnon. Alright, that's a pretty solid deal. Uh, Nick Foligno, 89 overall edition. I will definitely consider that. Taylor Hall and 10,000. Uh, Hall and Kessler. And I do apologize about the background music if you hear it. It's playing pretty loud right now. Like I said, around this time is prime time in my house. So, And we have giant speakers in our house. So it kind of sucks for me a little bit. But whatever. Hall and Kessler. Pretty solid uh, bunch of players there. So I will delay that. Hall and Bufflin. Alright. Zuccarello, Donskoy, and Helm. All right, I will delay that. Let's see what else we got here. Bronze contract and Morgan Riley, Movember card. So those are all the trade offers there. Let me make my decision here and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So pretty much 30 trade offers that were all really good. Uh, I, it was really hard to make a decision because I don't know any of the player values. I'm just going off of what I'm most interested in. And uh, I think I've chosen an offer, even though I think it's kind of controversial to a lot of people who sent in a trade offer for Matt Duchesne. Uh, so anyways, we will go through them. Uh, just a little bit. There were a lot of Carters in this deal. Uh, so, yeah, like just like that, there's another one. Carter and Gabrick. Uh, let's keep going here. Kessel Kadri, Nash and Bufflin. Um, what other offers were really close to what I was considering? Uh, Roman Yossi and Petrangelo. Honestly, a very solid D, D pairing. I just, I'm just not sure if I want to take that because I don't think they're worth too much, in my opinion. Even though maybe Petrangelo could be worth, like... Maybe 60, 70. Oh, man, that is a good deal. So I will delay it. I don't know. I'm still kind of like making my decision right now. Uh, Duclair and 16K. I kind of thought about Duclair a little bit. And there is a chance he could get a Team of the Year card or something like that. Maybe another upgrade. I know he's playing pretty well with Arizona right now. And 
I think his value could be up there. I don't exactly know, but Duclair, 16,000 coins. I was considering that for sure. Pavelski, 41. Uh, Burns and Bufflin, uh, not a bad deal as well. Uh, there was two Mike Camilleri's there, so I kind of, I don't think I projected one. Uh, Shane Doan and Duclair. I kind of like this deal more than the 17k deal. I'd rather take Shane Doan uh, over 17k. So that was a pretty solid deal to me as well. Uh, Ehlers, 12.7. Um, what other deals did I like? There was a better offer with Carter and 17k, so that one's kind of out of the question. Pavelski, Burns, and Thornton. Uh, Bubsta, Turris, Couture, Hedman. Uh, what other deals did I like here? Uh, this was one of the deals I like. Kessel, Kessler, and McKinnon. Three solid players that are pretty easy, easily uh, sellable in the marketplace. I just wasn't sure if I want to take this deal or the Duclair or if I want to take the other deal with the two defenders. Uh, just really hard decision. Uh, Felino, 69.69. Hall, 10k. I don't really want to take Hall. I know he's not worth too much. Even though this deal is pretty good with Hall and Kessler. That adds up to about 100k from what I know. Uh, same with this deal with Bufflin. Not a bad deal. Zuccarello, Donskoy, Helm. And there was another deal here, Oliver ekman Larson and Kevin Shattenkirk. So that's a pretty good deal as well. But I think what I'm going to be taking is, I don't think I'm going to be taking the two defenders, even though I think it is a solid deal. I'd rather have uh, an offense offenseman in there. I kind of want to take that um, Duclair deal, not that one. I want to take the other Duclair deal with Shane Doan. I think that's a pretty solid deal. I think Duclair is probably worth upwards of 50k. He's playing well this year, so there must be people investing in that card. And the Movember card hasn't been come like hasn't come come out for a while, so there's a really good chance that he's going for a little bit. So there you go. Enjoy your Matthew Shane. I'm gonna take that deal. I think that's the best offer. I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments. But let's go on to Bobby Hull. So Hull does have 24 trade offers, so it's gonna make it a little bit easier. I think even though his start price is 240,000, or at least what I listed up, him up for. Uh, with the first deal, we got a uh, Jordy Ben. Uh, we can reject that straight off the bat. Don't need that. Uh, Matt Dumba, we can pretty much reject that as well. That's not worth too much. Uh, we got Weber, Connor McDavid, and 14K. I uh, accepted a deal with Shea Weber in my last trade day, and I sold him for, I think, 100K. So I, I bought a Connor McDavid as well in my uh, Hut Roulette, and he was going for about 80K. So, I mean, you're getting about 200K, so I can do a little bit of calculating there. Uh, Scott Niedermeyer. All right, a legend card. I have not checked out these trades at all, so uh, these are the first time I'm seeing these. 93 skating, 91 shot, 93 hands, 94 defense. Wow. That is a really solid card for a defender. I, I will definitely consider that. Uh, we got uh, Hamilton Bulldogs, Parrot, and 103K. Okay. I will definitely consider that. Rask, Kreider, Voracek, and Neely. We got a legend card in there. A uh, lot of solid players, so I will definitely take another look at that one. Uh, 91 overall, uh, Pavelski. Uh, not a bad card as well. He's, I don't think he's as good as Bobby Hull, so we will have to see. He did add in 47k though, so I will consider that. Parise, Johansson, uh, Pavelski, and Carlson. So a lot of Dallas change team guys in there. Definitely consider that. Uh, Vladimir Tarasenko. All right. With Gustav Nyquist, 69 coins. I will delay that one. Uh, Junior Flashback, Patrick Kane. Uh, don't know if I want to take that deal. I don't know. I already have a Flashback Kane, so... Unless I'm selling him in a trade day, maybe, but I don't know. Uh, Bossy, Giroux, and... Okay, I will consider that. 420 and a gold contract. Uh, uh, Max Domi. He's probably worth a little bit as well. Uh, as well as Jakob Voracek. So, not a bad card. Not a bad bunch of cards there. Uh, Matt Niskanen, uh, we got Dubnik, Saw, Turris, and Palmville. Eh, not going to add up to even close to the other deals at least. Uh, so Max Domi, Myers, Turris, Anderson in the next deal with 227k. Oh man, you might as well just sell those players and try to buy uh, Bobby Hall yourself. I mean, last price sold was 240000 You probably could just buy him out. Uh, 215000 once again, lots of coin deals. Probably trying to get a little bit of a steal there. Uh, Max Domi and 60,000 coins. All right. Uh, Mike Medano legend card and 115,000. That looks pretty nice as well. I don't know. Solid amount of coins. It's pretty solid legend card. So we will consider that one as well if it wants to skip here. 190,000 coins. Ben Bishop, the cheat code. Uh, okay, we'll delay that. Brian Marchand. Uh, Movember, Dustin Bufflin. All right. I don't know how much he's going for, but that looks like a pretty nasty card. I haven't seen him in a while for sure. Burns, Komarov, 
JVR and Cronwall. A whole bunch of Toronto Change team guys in there. Uh, lots of good players, I guess, but we have seen some better offers for sure. As well as Jamie Ben. All right, Jamie Ben, just a solid gold card. Uh, so we will consider some offers here. I'll come back with a result. Okay, guys, so I think I made my decision here. Uh, it's a pretty tough one against a few trade offers that I really like, so I will tell you the ones I, I did like. Uh, but there was a pretty solid deal. Weber McDavid, uh, pretty close deal to what I was looking for, but still, I think Scott Niedermeyer here is a solid deal. Just his overall stats, I can imagine a lot of people hunting for that card. And just one for one for Bobby Hull for Niedermeyer could just be a good deal, so I will delay that one. Uh, there were some other deals, like 4-for-1 deals, I typically stay away from, uh, just because I would rather have that 1-for-1 one one or 2-for-1 deal where it's just easier to sell off cards and get trade offers for them than rather selling a whole plethora of players after I accept the trade. So, uh, there's some other deals there. Uh, let me see. Pretty solid deals. Like, there's a lot of good players here. Uh, Vladimir Tarasenko and Nyquist. Tarasenko, definitely a solid player. With Gustav Nyquist, pretty solid player as well. The thing is... Uh, just the overall difference. I don't think uh, Tarasenko and Nyquist will add up to Bobby Hull. And I think Niedermeyer, in my opinion, is a little bit more interesting than this deal. So I will kind of not reject, but I will delay it. Um, just going through my thought process here. Uh, Mike Bossy, not one of the most expensive legend cards. I know he's a pretty unpopular one just because of his skating category. Um, I don't know. I don't think he's worth too much. As long as Claude Giroux, he's not worth too much as well. He's like a Rick Nash value kind of player. I don't think, uh, what was his name? Uh, Bossy goes for more than 100k. So, Niskanen. Uh, we also got Doom Mixad. Let me keep going here. Like I said, if you have the coins and you're offering me like 227,000, you might as well just sell off Meyer, sell off Turris, sell off Anderson, and just get your 235, 240k coins, play a couple of games, and just buy Bobby Hull yourself. Seems like it's pretty close. Uh, there were some troll trades there, kind of. Uh, Max Domi. Pretty solid player as well, just not sure if I want to take that deal. And this was the offer that I think is very interesting to me. Mike Medano, he has 93 skating, 92 shot, 91 hands. And I'm thinking there aren't too many 90 overall centermen in this game, especially a, like a legend card. Uh, and I think his card's definitely going over 100k, so it definitely competes against Niedermeyer. The thing is, I think this one's a little bit more secure than Niedermeyer. Just because I know Mike Medano probably goes for something. It's a pretty good card that a lot of people want. Def definitely a lot of Dallas fans would want him. Uh, what else was there that was good? I guess Movember Bufflin was pretty interesting, but I don't think he's worth too much, honestly. Uh, Jamie Bennett as well. Once again, a one for one, but it's kind of like that Tarasenko deal. Uh, I'd rather just take uh, Niedermeyer over Jamie Ben. It's just... Uh, just kind of my thinking process. 90 skating, 91 shot, 92 hands. The legend cards kind of have better stats than uh, Jamie Ben himself. So the deal I am going to take is the more secure one. And it's going to be Mike Medano. I just think it's such a good deal. And I know it's a pretty close deal compared to Niedermeyer. The thing is, it does have 115,000 coins. So it kind of takes away from the guessing a little bit. And Mike Medano, uh, I mean, just a solid player overall. So there you go. Enjoy your Bobby Hull. Nice little upgrade for him. He got a Mike Medano, or traded up Mike Medano to get a Bobby Hull. So not a bad deal. So anyways, let's go on to Patrick Kane, last player of the day. Uh, he has 33 trade offers. Okay, so moving on to Patrick Kane, I just did a really, really quick uh, sweep, I guess, of troll trades so we can go through every offer and just delay them if we do come up with a close one. So anyways, uh, Matt Dumba is the first one. Definitely don't need that. It's not going to add up to Patrick Kane, so I'm going to reject that. Uh, we also got Johnny Grudro. Uh, I remember checking his value pretty recently, and I know he's going for around 270, 280,000, so I will definitely consider that, even though Johnny Grudro is a really good card, so we'll definitely consider that one. Falk, Fowler, Yager, and Eric Stahl. I think I could reject that deal as well. I just don't think that's going to add up to Johnny Goudreau's value. Uh, not even close. Uh, there are some uh, Movember cards there. 150,000 coins. Morgan Riley, Brendan Sod, Adam Larson. Oh, man. All right. We will consider that for sure. Uh, Rick Nash, 90 overall edition. Oh, man. And 52K. I don't know how much Nash is going for, but uh, that does look like a pretty nice card to have. Roberto Luongo, all right, November edition, definitely consider that one. Larkin, Burns, Couture, 195k, not a bad card. I really think Larkin should be receiving more, uh, like, special upgrades, I think. Like, I mean, if Max Domi is 87, Duclair is 86, there's no love for Larkin, I don't know. Uh, Evgeny Malkin in 15k, all right, pretty solid player, actually. 
uh, Goudreau and 20k. So we can reject that first deal for sure if we get too many deals there. Uh, Max Pacioretty and 39k. I don't, I'm not sure if he's going to get a team of the year card. I, I heard something like the most of the Canadian teams are don't even have a chance of making it to the playoffs this year. Uh, and I don't think he's going to get a team of the year. So it's going to be kind of not a fair deal, I think, for Patrick Kane. Um, so we will delay that, though. Kevin Shattenkirk, Bufflin, and Voracek. All right. Uh, Flurry, 350,000 coins. Like I said, if you're just going to offer me coins, I'd rather just take a player trade for someone that actually wants to upgrade rather than someone that could just buy a player on the market. So I don't know. Carter, Kessel, and Zetterberg with 125k. Uh, not a bad deal. I will consider that one. 290k Kadri and Eric Stahl. Jesus. All right. Uh, Tyler Sagan, Marshawn, 17k. Uh, Sagan's worth a little bit, so definitely consider that. Simmons, Shattenkirk, Zuccarello, 2k. Doesn't really compare to the other deals. I apologize about that one. Uh, Goudreau, Morgan Riley, 10,000 coins. So definitely better than the 20,000 coins with the Johnny Goudreau someone offered me before. Let's keep going here, though. Tarasenko, Oliver ekman Larson, Movember Kadri again. Keep getting him. Uh, okay, definitely consider that one. Uh, ASG Perry with Bergeron and a Bishop. All right, so the ASG Perry comes out again. We'll definitely consider that one. Uh, back is Voracek, Bobby Ryan, Bishop. Okay, not the most interesting trade there. Uh, Tarasenko, Goudreau, and 3,000 coins. All right, uh, pretty good uh, team of the week, uh, Tarasenko there. Even though I think he's like a three overall with his Movember card. From I have his Movember card, so I kind of know his overall. Uh, Klingberg, wow, Movember Klingberg. That's not a bad card, so we will definitely consider that one. Uh, Thornton, Nelson, Hamilton, Halak, all right. Not the most expensive players in there. Uh, Komarov, Hedman, Sedin, Bergeron. Um, Komarov, wow, 88 overall. That's a pretty nice card, even though I don't think that deal kind of adds up. Camilleri, Eberle, Galchenyuk, whole bunch of uh, Movember cards there. Not sure if I want to take that deal, though. We'll have to see. They are the most expensive Movember cards. Uh, Marshawn, like, gay boys, all right. Uh, Datsuk and Kuznetsov, player of the game, with 18,000 coins. Wow, that's a pretty good deal as well. I do like Datsuk, so we will consider that one. Zetterberg, Giroux, Carlson, and Bobby Ryan, okay. Doesn't add up to even 200k, so I don't know. Matt Duchesne, Akpozo, and 6.4k. And that is the final deal for Patrick Kane. So anyways... I'm going to make my decision here. Let's go back to the first deal, and then uh, we'll see what we pick. Okay, so a pretty tough decision here that I have to make, but uh, there were like four or five deals that I really liked, so I will go through them right now, and I'll just show you guys what I was thinking of. So, first of all, there were a couple Goudreau, so I will go to the best Goudreau deal and kind of talk about it. Uh, there were some November cards. Definitely not a bad deal there. Uh, I was interested in this one, Rick Nash and 52K. So there were... A lot of Movember deals that I got in this uh, trade offer for Patrick Kane. The thing is, I was kind of thinking, what Movember card has the best chance of getting a team of the year? And if Rick Nash, that's only received two upgrades this year, because his overall base card is 88 overall, uh, what are the chances of him getting a team of the year? And I'm thinking, maybe because he's only received two upgrades this year, his chances of getting a team of the year or some type of really good special card uh, just worsens, right? And if that is the case, I'm thinking the Movember card isn't going for too much. Even though he did add in that 52k, it is enticing, I guess. Not sure if I want to take that deal. Uh, Movember, Luongo, um, every single year, uh, everybody kind of gives me all these like team of the years or Movember goalies. And their value always just like, just crashes by uh, team of the year season. So I'm not sure if I want to take any Movember goalies, especially for Patrick Kane, which is a pretty like expensive player. And it's a lot to risk for... Uh, that that card i guess what else is there uh, evgeny malkin i was kind of thinking if i wanted to take a deal this would probably be one of the best ones to like take i guess evgeny malkin 92 skating 91 shot 92 hands pretty comparable to patrick kane uh in terms of you know their fan bases i guess there are a lot of malkin fans there are a lot of patrick kane fans so i think that's a pretty good one for one deal uh, just straight up uh there are some other gujo deals same with patch already movember uh, same kind of thinking with uh, Rick Nash as well. What are the chances of Pacioretty getting a team of the year or something like that? And will that lower his value? And I really think that will lower Pacioretty's value. So I'm a little bit iffy of taking that one. What else is there? Flurry 350000 like I said. Uh, just send in, just basically buy it on your own. I mean, it's not you're not too far off with this 
uh, value, I guess. I mean, I put it up Patrick Kane for a start price of 350000 I could take the coin straight up, but then it's still fun for a trade day. It's like, I mean, I could someone could just send me 350000 coins, and then, you know, I could have, like, accepted another offer with people sending in some stuff. So, uh, this deal as well it was kind of interesting. I kind of took a look at it again, and there's a whole bunch of Chicago players. So, I'm guessing this guy is a Chicago fan, and he is trying to upgrade to that Patrick Kane. The thing is, I think... He's a little bit short in terms of the coin amount. Um, I mean, Kessel, Zetterberg, Carter, all big name players, but it just doesn't even add up to Evgeny Malkin or Patrick Kane's value, even though solid players there. So I, I don't know. I don't know if I want to take that one. There also is 290,000 coins, Eric Stoll and Nazem Kadri. Um, don't want to take the coins, like I said. A lot of coins there. If you want, just sell your Eric Stoll and Kadri and buy your own like Patrick Kane from the marketplace. There's a whole bunch of them. Uh, Sagan, Marshawn, 17k. What are the deals that I like here? Goudreau, Riley, and 10k. I remember Goudreau going for like 260, 270 with a Morgan Riley and 10,000 coins. But don't get me wrong, I really like my Toronto players, but they are just not doing good this year. And I really don't want to, I guess, invest in a Toronto Movember card for like for starters. I just it's a little bit iffy. And even though the value is almost there. I don't know the chance of them getting more upgrade cards, and that is kind of a problem to me. So I'm kind of delaying that one. Tarasenko, Ekman, Larson, and Kadri. A whole bunch of solo players there as well, uh, but don't really want to take that deal. I feel like Evgeny Malkin's worth a little bit more than that one. Uh, Perry, Bergeron, Bishop. Once again, I mean, Perry is a valuable player. I just don't know how much he's going for. I don't think he's worth 300000 every single year. Uh, that skating category just deters a lot of people from buying him and uh, that kind of in turn no one like raises the value his value is really low for most of the year uh, so Perry 92 overall the overall is there just not sure about the card so I will delay that what are the deals there Tarasenko Goudreau I like the team of the week Tarasenko as well just not sure if I want to take the team of the week card because I already have the Movember card there even though I mean it is a solid upgrade I think that if this guy had the Tarasenko on his team already. He probably should just stick with the Tarasenko because it does have some better stats overall. Not sure if he really wants to upgrade to that Patrick Kane. Also, this deal, Klingberg. So, this was an interesting deal to me because I kind of told you guys how I was thinking about what were the chances of someone getting a Team of the Year card. And Klingberg's, Klingberg's um, base overall card is 85 overall. So, he's received five special cards throughout this year and I think the chances of him getting a team with your card has substantially grown so I'm thinking that card is worth quite a bit the thing is he's only 90 overall so far uh, he's not like a Shea Weber type of player with a big name he's not like higher overall than Patrick Kane and that kind of scares me because usually overalls that are the same uh, for especially compared from offense to defense the defenders always get the short end of the stick. They're always not worth too much compared to offense. So I'm a little bit iffy with taking that. There's also this deal. Uh, let me see what other good deals were there were. Everly Camilleri, Galchenyuk, uh, Marshawn Lekikon. Why, why did I not reject that? Uh, Datsu Kuznetsov. Also not a bad deal. I just don't know how much Kuznetsov is going for. And I think there is a November version of him. I'm pretty sure at least. And... If there is a Movember card of him, that means the player game ver player of the game version of Kuznetsov can't be going for too much as well. A uh, whole bunch of Ottawa guys there. It just doesn't really add up, as well as the last deal, Dushin Pozo. So, I think I did make my decision there. I think I'm going to be taking... Let me see here. Uh, we're going to be taking Evgeny Malkin. Alright, and the reason why is, base card for base card, it's his most solid deal in my opinion. Uh, the skating, shooting, and hands, very comparable to Patrick Kane. And both fan bases, you know, there's a good fan base for Malkin. There's a good fan base for Patrick Kane. I don't think I'm missing out on too much. I can't imagine Malkin going for less than 300,000 coins, even though Patrick Kane is going for 350. Obviously, Patrick Kane's more popular, but can't imagine there being too less of fans for Malkin. So there it is. Enjoy your Patrick Kane. I will take Evgeny Malkin. And that is the end of the mini trade day. All right, guys. So that is pretty much it for this trade day. 
Um, I think it's glitched out for some reason. There's three trade offers on zero active players. I, I don't know how that works. But anyways, that is pretty much it for this trade day. Let me know how I did, how I should change it. Like I said, I'm still kind of like all ears for this type of series because it is kind of long. I'm not sure if I should be rejecting deals more often, maybe checking values. You guys can let me know if this style is nice. As well as let me know as well in the comments what type of players you would like to see next. Like I said, I read all the comments for suggestions like this time around. I did buy a Rick Nash because there was three or four people that kind of wanted him. So I did put him up and I will try to take a trade offer every single time. So um, that that's also a pretty good bonus if you want to say upgrade a card but you don't have exactly the same uh, value or you want to try to upgrade your card but you can't afford them kind of thing. I am kind of like... I've been talking for an hour. I'm really tired. I'm just out of gas right now. Pretty exhausted. So that's pretty much it for this trade day uh, results. If you guys did enjoy it, leave it a like. And uh, once again, post a comment for anything I just said before. But anyways, guys, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.